Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dave. This is my 2004 C5 Corvette. So if you're into Corvette content, especially C5 content, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Now today's video is just a quick update on where we are with the cam swap. Now I got all the parts in, I got just picked up a whole bunch of tools from a local guy to me. Now one last thing before we go inside, the tune is scheduled for January 27th. So that only gives us two weeks to get this cam swap done. So I'm heading out to Scott over at Team 512, heading out to him, on January 24th to start this assembly and then put it all together that weekend. So let's go ahead inside and let me show you all the parts and all the tools that I picked up that'll hopefully make this cam swap go smooth. So here we are in my spare bedroom. I kind of made like a makeshift indoor studio here. Let me know what you think about the uh, yellow C5 flag. I absolutely love it. Of course it's yellow, of course it's C5. That's what my channel's about. So let me know what you think about it. All right, so now we're gonna go into some of the parts that are recommended um, when you're doing a cam upgrade optional but still highly recommended and then these are like your optional things over here now of course for any cam upgrade you're gonna need a cam if you did not see my previous video on which cam i picked this is the btr stage 2 kit there's all the specs there now along with the cam i did pick up the cam kit which included new valve springs and everything required for those valve springs so your valve seals all your retainers all that good stuff to in order to put your valve springs in and then also new push rods to go along with everything. So you're gonna, I'm gonna be taking out the old push rods and putting the new ones in. So when you take off the harmonic balancer, the existing balancer bolt is torqued to yield, so you are gonna have to replace that bolt. I just went again back with the OE bolt. There is the OE part number for it. Uh, you can go with an ARP bolt. These are cheap enough. Um, you can get like, I don't know, five or six of these bolts for the price of one ARP bolt. And this is the Velpro valve cover set. There's the uh, part number there for you. So there's everything that you need there for the valve covers since we are replacing springs and rods and everything else. Um, sometimes these are fine, just in case if the existing gaskets are bad, but at least I can replace them with new. And then this is the timing cover set gasket kit. Again, includes all that good stuff. Includes everything for your water pump, ceiling ring, oil pump, inlet tube. I'm going to go over this one a little bit later. And then your front seal which is very important, you're going to want to replace that front seal. A lot of times you have oil leaks uh, from that front seal, so you just want to replace that. That's your, for your water pump. And then this is just for your whole timing cover, goes all the way around. And there is the Velpro part number for that. Now moving across to something that's optional but still highly recommended is a new harmonic balancer. This is from Summit. This is the C2501. It is SFI rated. Now there are a few options to go with when you're replacing the balancer. There's three primary ones that a lot of guys go with. There's this, the Summit. There's also a Power Bond, which is also SFI rated. And then you can step all the way up to the ATI balancer, which is probably the most expensive. This balancer and the Power Bond balancer are about the same price. I think this one's a little bit cheaper, but not much. And you're gonna to wanna to replace your balancer because the OE balancer does go bad over time. It's not really a mileage based thing because I know some guys have gone over 100,000 miles on the stock balancer. Some have only gone 20,000 miles on the stock balancer. So there's no rhyme or reason. So definitely consider getting a new harmonic balancer. So now after that, these are the things that are optional, but since I'm in there, I'm gonna do them. One is a Melling Performance Oil Pump. The This is the model number that I went with, the 10295 oil pump. Um, the oil pump, there's probably nothing wrong with the OE oil pump, but I'm um, going to upgrade it to this one nonetheless. And then this does come with some new pickup tube O-rings. Now since the oil pump will be off and the timing chain will pretty much be off at that point as well, I am going to upgrade to the LS2 timing chain. This is the part number here for the LS2 chain. And then along with that I also did the timing chain dampener. Again, this is the GM model number for that. Now, since I have the 2004 C5, the block does come with these bolt holes, so you can screw the dampener into it. But if you do have an earlier C5, I forget what year it started, maybe like 2001 or 2002, you will need an adapter bracket in order to screw this in. But since I have a 2004, these holes are already in the block, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, the last thing I picked up is the Straub Technologies Trunnion Upgrade Kit. Now, the existing trunnions and bearings 
tend to go bad once you go to a higher lift cam. The existing bearings have needle bearings inside. These are brass bearings, so it gets rid of the needle bearings. That's why this is a very popular upgrade. Now on the stock trunnions, sometimes those bearings work their way off, and if that comes off, then those needle bearings are all inside your motor, which is a bad thing. A lot of guys do upgrade to the Comp Cams kit, which has captured needle bearings, but even those I hear fail. So there's a bunch of manufacturers that make trunnion kits very similar to this. They just have a good name in the industry, so that's why I went with them. Now, as far as the tools go for doing the cam upgrade, I did reach out to a Facebook group here in New Jersey, uh, New Jersey Corvettes. A lot of guys are very helpful on there. Um, I just posted on there, if anybody had, um, you know, like the bouncer puller and some other tools to help me out with this, and one guy did reach out to me. He's giving me pretty much everything, soup to nuts. So these are the tools that somebody is graciously letting me borrow for this install. Obviously, we have the balancer puller here. This is the tool to put the new balancer back on. This is to line up the timing cover onto the crank. This is the uh, air compressor hookup. This plugs into your, or screws into your, spark plug holes this obviously goes to the compressed air this will keep the valves up when you're doing the springs this is the valve seal setter tool from comp cams this is obviously the valve spring compressor tool this is from trick flow i believe yeah trick flow so this is a summit racing trunnion tool this will go onto your vise and uh help put your new trunnions onto the existing rockers and then the last thing he gave me was a push rod uh, length checker. So all this stuff will definitely help us out and definitely make that cam install a lot easier. At least having all these tools readily available for us to use. Now, as I said earlier in the video, January 27th, I have the tune scheduled with Complete Street Performance at 10 a.m. So the cam has to be done by then. So that, that's why I'm going up to Scott's on the 24th. And we're going to pretty much take the whole weekend to uh, put the cam in will probably take us all weekend to actually do the work no but we're going to be filming this for you guys as well so just filming and doing the work it almost it doesn't quite double the amount of time but it's it, you know it's definitely longer to film and actually perform the work and as you guys know from my channel i like to give you as much information as possible so that you can do the work yourself and not that i'm skipping something that could potentially help you and then you're like well why didn't he just say that so I'm going to try and give you all the information to help you do this type of install yourself. Me and Scott, we've never done this, but how hard can it be? I want to hear your guys' opinion on how I should break up the videos. I'm thinking right now there's going to be like a disassembly video, and then obviously an assembly video, and then another video of first startup and then going to CSP for the tune. And then also, I like your feedback. So if I miss a step or if I'm doing it totally wrong, you can just put it down in the comments so that other people that are watching the video can read those comments and correct it when they're doing the install. And then Scott's also going to be doing a video. He's probably going to be doing more of a video that's kind of more streamlined, not really getting into the nuts and bolts like my video is going to be. He's probably going to show a lot of like the behind the scenes of us, you know, acting a fool and being stupid. And since we're starting this assembly on a Friday, I plan on doing, I don't know, maybe at least one, maybe two, maybe three live streams you know friday night saturday night and maybe sunday night just showing you the progress on you know where we're at what stage we're at and of course answering any questions that you may have and of course letting everybody hear the car once it's up and running hopefully on that sunday right because if it's not running by sunday we're we're in trouble for monday so definitely stay tuned for those live streams and i started a little while ago that all my videos go live at 7 32 p.m eastern time so that's when the live streams are going to be they're going to be at 7 32 or at least close to that that's what we're gonna aim for all right guys so that's it the cam upgrades happening january 24th through the 27th getting it tuned on the 27th at csp hope to make some good numbers we'll see how it goes i'm excited i can't wait i know scott is chomping at the bit as well uh this is just gonna be a fun time so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please subscribe thank you and have a great day